One of the most important analytical tasks is to search for weaknesses and potential growth points in the project. If you know when and why users leave your app or game, you know how to fix it and get them back. The better you track these events, the more users you have, and the higher your potential revenue. You can track even the most complex user journeys in your application using the DiftoDefs Conversion Funnel Report. It allows you to create conversion funnels based on a sequence of user events. With this report, you get statistics on the number of unique users who completed these events. To build the report, select up to 30 steps by clicking the Add Step button. Be careful, sequence is important here. If you follow steps A, B and C, you will first get the number of users who completed event A, then the number of users who completed both events A and B, and then the number of users who completed A, B and C events during a selected period of time. To specify a value for a step's parameters, click the Add Parameter button to the right of the step, select the parameter, and set the value condition. You can also set a time limit between two steps. Make a step optional or set a time limit for the whole funnel. To exclude users who completed the event within the time specified in the report, select Not. If the user completed the event outside of this time period, they will be included in the report. You can use the alternative option, which allows you to select multiple events in one step. For example, a user can register or log into an application. This way you can create a funnel consisting of steps with alternative events. You can also select the funnel type and choose between a table or a chart. Additionally, you can set the aggregate by option, to see, how users move through the funnel on specific days, weeks, or months. Moreover, you can select the step option to view a simplified funnel with the same metrics. Use the conversion time limit setting above the report results, to select the option that will be used to limit the conversion time window. For example, you can build a funnel that a user completed within an hour of signing up. To set a filter based on app version, channel, device, or any user segment, click the filter button in the top right corner of the page. Compare the funnel for different segments by clicking Add Comparison and update the result. The number of unique users who completed events during the selected time period is represented on the vertical axis of the chart. Once you've created your funnel, you'll see an icon to the right of each funnel step that opens an additional menu. You can use these options to see conversion trends for steps, create a static segment that includes users who completed funnel steps or users who abandoned the current step, and export the IDs of users who reached a selected step. Click the export button in the upper right corner to export your funnel results to a CSV file. The funnel can also be saved. It will be available in the list in the Conversion Funnel section. You can even save the funnel to your dashboard by clicking Save to Dashboard for easy access to the data you need.